Hi, my name is Erin Betts Shank, and I'm the priest of Trinity Episcopal Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Um, and I'm here to share with you my thoughts and some thoughts about prayer. Uh, people often say, I'm going to pray for you when something happens in someone else's life. And it got me thinking one day, what does that really mean? And how can we know what prayer is about, especially if you've never prayed before or if you're unfamiliar with prayer? And so I just wanted to give you a few thoughts about that. Um, prayer is not complicated. Prayer is simply your time with God. And how you use that time can vary from person to person. Uh, some people can pray by using something that's written. Some people can pray simply by sitting in your home and just thinking and meditating about what you want to say to God. The best thing I can tell you about prayer is that it is building a relationship with God. And there isn't an articulate way to do it. There isn't a perfect way to do it. And that's the best thing about prayer because God's created us all differently and wants to be in relationship with us. So when we take that step and we acknowledge that God is in our lives and that God is here to walk with us in whatever we're going through, whatever we're experiencing or however we are seeing other people experiencing things, God is with us. And most importantly, God loves us. There's a lot to be said about our relationship with one another but it's an even greater thing to be in relationship with God. And that's mainly what prayer is about. If you wanna get started with your personal prayer life, but you're not quite sure where to begin or how to get started, here are just a few suggestions. Um, as Episcopalians, we have the Book of Common Prayer. And the Book of Common Prayer has great wealth uh, and richness of prayers that are already written. Uh, they're even in categories and page numbers, so it's helpful to flip through the prayer book and uh, find things that you're looking for there. Some of those prayers have been written and said over the centuries, so you're joining a large group of people who have said the same prayers and uh, made the same contact with God throughout the ages, which is a great thing. If you would like to try something a little more off the cuff, uh, there's also contemplative prayer, and uh, that's a way that you can uh, be with a few people and be in silence and really concentrate on the things that God is calling you to concentrate on. Other ways that you can pray are if you use an icon. Um, and so icons are a great way to focus on a particular image and to think about how God is calling you to focus and uh, use the icon as a way of a window to God. There's also prayer beads, which is also a great way to focus and concentrate on one bead at a time and have a specific focus for what you're looking at. Um, and another one that you can also use is a labyrinth. Um, walking and doing something physical and even just having a different change of scenery can also help with your prayer life, simply because you're in a specific place, a holy place, and you are knowing that you are in a sacred space with God at the moment. Developing your own personal prayer life is a journey. And it's a journey that we all take, and our journeys often do not look like anyone else's journey. And in the journey, you have to try. It's a process. I encourage you to try all kinds of prayer, and as we've outlined, there are many, and there may even be some that I've not even listed. And that's the joy of the journey, is learning how to pray, how to be with God, and how to be with others as you pray. My prayer for you is that you find hope, you find peace, and you can feel and know God's love through your prayer journey.